And hello everyone, Gabe the Izzard here. I am in beautiful, on a beautiful day, beautiful North Little Rock, Arkansas. I consider North Little Rock and Little Rock Little Rock to me because I've lived in both sides of the river, so it's all my hometown. I know it's divided and it's a separate government entities, but it is nonetheless, nevertheless, my hometown. But I'm at a cool place. Right behind this rock wall is a piece of history, cinematic history, cultural history, neighborhood history, and you are about to see Go ahead, tag along. No, I am not handicapped. Although some might say I am here just a bit. But right behind this rock wall is a rock structure known as the Old Mill. What a beautiful sight. The Old Mill, originally named the Pew Mill, P-U-G-H Mill, was commissioned by Justin Matthews as a addition to the Park Hill neighborhood that he had a hand in developing. And he commissioned Dionisio Rodriguez, and I hope that I didn't butcher that name, D-I-O-N-I-C-I-O, -I -I Rodriguez, Dionisio, and he did the concrete work and built the building right there. The old mill was built and dedicated in 1933 and then was later featured in the movie Gone with the Wind in the opening credits. And that was in 1939. A lot has changed since then, including this waterfall, which on the other side of this, I'll call it a levee, is another lake and the lakes which this is also considered Lake Wood, flow down, on down into a low point there. But this was built in 2008 to create a continual flow of water, which it had not always had. And I'll show you over here on the water wheel in just a second, how significant this structure affected that structure. surrounding the old mill there are lots of little pathways and little bridges all around here this is a popular place for wedding photography and prom photography just because of the natural elements and uh, the beauty of the place but there is no climbing on the water feature so that part is off limits As the water flows from under that water feature and along over here, it is made to come over and keep this wheel spinning. When I was a kid, that wheel never spun and there was never any water here. And it was just 
usually a stagnant, stale looking pond. And they've really beautified this in the recent years. And I say recent, in the 2000s, 2008. Here you can see the Pew Mill with 1832 on there. I really thought it was 1932. I don't know why it would be 1832. Who knows? After some further looking, it is 1932 when the old mill was commissioned to be built. It was completed and dedicated in 1932, 1933. Commissioned in 1932, dedicated in 1933, and donated to the city in May of 1976. So it was a part of the city from 1976 on, which it still is a city part. 1976. The Bicentennial of the United States of America and also the year that this legend was born. And over here is a cave. This cave goes in to the abyss. No one has ever traveled to the end of this cave. But I'm sure that if someone was inclined, they could do it. Just not me, not today. All of this wood looking material is actually made of concrete. And this was never a working mill. It has only been an architectural art project. This is what a mill could be like. And that's what a grinding mill would be like. But it is not an actual functioning mill, nor has it ever. But you can walk up into this mill and take a good peek at the rafters. Take a peek outside. There is entrance on the front side and the back side. So if you're a little scared to walk across that narrow bridge, there are stairs here on the back side. The old mill is a stopping place for field trips to come and eat a lunch and to run around and burn off some energy before they head back to school. Today, there are no classes over here and only a couple people eating a picnic lunch and a couple lovebirds taking a stroll in the park. This concrete bridge looks like it could be something out of a fairy tale movie with its dripping stalactites coming down. I don't see any ducks. Oh, there's one. There are a few ducks down there. I have a special little treat for them. Also, they have restrooms right here across the way. That's the rock wall that I entered on. And uh, 
Here's some people coming in. Look like they might be taking some pictures here in a minute. These ducks are often fooled by rocks being thrown into the water, thinking that they're food. So you can see the one is like, hey, wait, there's something over here. So I'm going to draw them over with rocks, but I do have a treat in this little bag. I think the ducks are ready for something. A couple little treats. Let's see what they do with this. actually coming up um, wait what? what what's going on here oh Let's see what they do here huh no not out of my hand oh let's see what they do here now Oh, oh, he's biting his butt. He's really chowing down. All these guys are fighting. This guy is just going to eat up all these little surprises. And like I say, over there, the word is out. I have about four or five ducks coming over this way. guys way over there I'm gonna see if I can toss this sucker and if they want to get enticed by it oh that one oh he caught it he's like oh yeah I see what's going on here let me see if I can get all these suckers over here where were you going These guys. Oh. <laughs> oh. I have just a few left. They're all making their way up here. This one's about the friendliest one. It's like I want to... Right, there it goes. Who's going to get that one? He got it. You, you're the nicest one. So he took the whole cookie. All right. He's over here chowing down. I gave him the whole cookie. That's it, guys. No more. This is definitely not handicap accessible right here. So, use caution. But yeah, this is it. The old miss, the old mill. Thanks again for watching. On my 10th, 11th day in a row. I do appreciate you watching. And if you haven't subscri subscribed, subscribe. Rock the notification bell. And I will see you tomorrow. I'm going to exercise again tonight. Getting that in. 
on Sunday will be the grand reveal. It was 204.8. We'll see how much I am on Sunday. It went from a beautiful sunny day to clouds. There was not a cloud in the sky. Now it's completely cloudy. All within about 15 minutes. There's the old mill. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Later. This neighborhood really does have some cool houses. Park Hill slash Lakewood. Boom, boom.